What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful Tuesday. Lots of news today. Lots of talking about, you know, coffee brand coffee and all other types of things. But here's an interesting article. Uh, now, apparently, space, you know, the final frontier, it's actually racist. That's right. A woke Colorado astrophysics professor moans that her field is riddled with white supremacy and um, bias against women, with colleagues using hyper-masculine and aggressive language to describe the cosmos. Now, if you didn't know, can you picture in your head what kind of person will be making this complaint? Can you picture, perhaps, in your head what kind of person will be making this complaint? It's absolutely ridiculous. And we're gonna get into that after a super quick word from this video sponsor, Private Internet Access. Huge shout out to this video sponsor, Private Internet Access. Look, it's 2022 going on 2023. If you don't have a VPN, you're missing out on a ton of benefits, not just a more secure connection, but if you're paying for Netflix, Disney Plus, or any other streaming service, you're already getting locked out of a ton of additional content that you could be enjoying if you used a VPN. And since they've been sponsoring the channel so long, they've rolled out a massive discount for my viewers. That's right, 84% off plus four months free. It's $2.03 a month, four months free, 84% off. Private internet access also offers privacy on all your devices, lightning fast global server network, and look, Outside of all the additional content you're going to be able to view out there using private internet access, it also has a strict no logs policy. It's open source. It has state of the art updates. It's instant to set up. You can put it on all of your devices, your tablet, your computer, your mobile phones. It has unlimited bandwidth and so much more. If you don't have a VPN yet, make today the day. Use my link in the description to get private internet access, start being more secure and unlock loads more content. A Colorado astrophysicist has claimed her field is steeped in white supremacy uh, because of hyper-masculine and aggressive language used to describe stars. Natalie Gosnell, an assistant professor at Colorado College, takes an unconventional approach to physics by comparing stars with humans to turn science into art. So she's not a teacher. She's an activist. In an interview with the college newspaper, she claims she has struggled to overcome the division between art and science that is rooted in systemic racism. Her work aims to cross typical disciplinary boundaries to create art science pieces that re-inscribe outer space as a feminist space, she said on her website. This is half the problem. Remember that that astronaut that got canceled for wearing a shirt with like women, bikini women on it? Remember that person? I'm actually going to pull up his story. Okay, it wasn't an astronaut, but it was a comet scientist who had a, a normal shirt with like regular women and looks like cars on it. Okay, it's just a normal shirt that you could buy at Walmart. Remember this story? Comet scientist Dr. Matt Taylor's shirt was awful. But what should have he worn on TV instead? Like, I mean, are you kidding me? I didn't, he's a, look, I didn't especially like his shirt, but I also don't think one can expect much more of a heavily inked dude with a well-established penchant for bad t-shirts as a cursory search on Google Images uh, proves this one, while not in the best of taste, was clearly part of that tendency. It's embarrassing. It was a stupid shirt to wear on international TV, but the man is classic baddie scientist cliche. The guy ended up getting publicly shamed. I think he had to issue an apology over a totally tame shirt, by the way. Totally tame. It's not like it said women bad or anything like that. It had beautiful women on it. Both artists and scientists are just observing things about the world, interpreting those observations and then sharing their interpretation, Gosnell told the Colorado College News. 
As an astrophysicist, I am the product of institutions steeped in systemic racism and white supremacy, she said. What? Imagine you're like taking a class and you're like, sweet, I'm going to learn about comets and, you know, black holes and um, supernovas. And then you get this broad who's like, well, actually, comets, you know, like white dwarfs, uh, that's racist. Suggestions that academic fields like science and engineering are male-dominated are commonly and generally accepted. But Gosnell goes further by arguing that the language used to describe scientific phenomenon is also racist. By the way, you can go do whatever it is that you want to do. If you go and look at the college statistics right now by gender, women are massively over overrepresented. Go do whatever it is that you want to do. This whole idea that women are getting the raw end of the deal or the short end of the stick uh, giggity for uh, these types of education jobs and professional jobs. It's just not backed by the data. It's just not. They're, they're literally lying. It's the same people that with a straight face told you that there's a, pay, a gender pay gap, which there isn't. No real economist actually endorses that. <clears throat> it's a democratic talking point, sure, but it's not actually backed by science or, or economics or hard data. It's just a lie. That's perpetuated. And people are like, oh yeah, women are paid less. Don't you think that every major corporation, if they, were, if they could hire women for 79 cents on the dollar, that every major employee at every major corporation, corporation would be a woman since they can do the exact same job as a man and, and get paid 79 cents on the dollar? Why wouldn't every employee at every company be a woman? That'd be a great, if I were a CEO and I could pay women who do the exact same work as a man, uh, 79 cents, on the dollar, why wouldn't I have every major employee be a woman? It's ridiculous. In the way, the way in which stars burn through their fuel and die is viewed through a hyper-masculine lens, and the metaphors are often very violent, she claimed. An example she gave is that when stars which take mass from other stars are labeled bad boys, those do not seem to be, though this does not seem to be a, a widely used scientific term. So no one even uses it. She may have been referencing one single article written by a popular science journalist, Nancy Atkinson, a woman, in which Atkinson wrote that blue stragglers which steal masks from companion stars by crashing into their neighbors are stellar bad boys. Much of Gosnell's research is dedicated to understanding the blue straggler binary star systems, which often involve one star burning out and merging with another. That is kind of a, an aggressive action, isn't it? Scientifically, you might have an explosion of energy there. Gosnell, who studies binary star systems, ooh, I, what about non-binary ones? Using telescopes and imaging, has said that she tries to combine art and science because the two fields are more similar than people think. I, I mean, okay, fine, go work for one of those star map websites and sell pictures of the cosmos. The tenets of white supremacy emerging in physics of individualism and exceptionalism and perfectionism is an either or thinking, but there's no subtlety there. There's no gray area. There really isn't a gray area in scientific fact, is there? We know the atomic weight. We know, uh, you know what happens when cells dissolve. We know what happens in a star's life cycle. Now it can change. But what is scientific fact is scientific fact. There is no gray area uh, in what happens when you combine two elements. We know. All of this manifested in the way in which we think about our research, which counts as good research, which counts as important research. Always love when somebody calls the work that they personally do important. Oh, and she went to Wisconsin. Oh, why? She's published dozens of papers as an astrophysicist. By the way, astrophysicist, uh, is there a job that's taken a bigger L this year? Neil deGrasse Tyson. Remember, he's, you know, the poke shill, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Most recently, she was involved in a creative project, The Gift, which was an experimental piece of theater 
that anthropomorphized blue stragglers and made comparisons between the lifespans and interactions of stars. Who the heck went to go see that? Nobody. I mean, again, <laughs> the comments, whatever. They are nuts. <laughs> What about pronouns in space? Wokeism has invaded the hard sciences now. Here's an example. Um, always an unattractive chick. <laughs> educated to idiocy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, an educated idiot is still an idiot. The article says she studies binary star system, which sounds very exclusionary. I think she should, should only study non-binary star systems. Hasn't she noticed she's white? I mean, women have all of the advantages in... The, in the you know in uh, education, getting jobs, getting into school, and they know this, but they gaslight and they pretend, oh no, we're still oppressed. It's ridiculous. Maybe just stick to talking about what happens in the stars, and 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 maybe maybe accomplish something in your life instead of blathering wokeisms, looking for likes and retweets on Twitter. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you go check out Private Internet Access. Their link is in the description and pin comment down below and we'll talk to you again real soon. Mm -hmm.